Soon may the weller man come, bring us coffee, tea, and rum. One day when the tongue is done, take our leave and go. At a fair It's the second official outing in my newly built 12 foot skiff and in the last video I sailed about as far downwind as I dared to. About as far from the launch site near the 6880 bridge on Lake Barkley. After scaling the bluff and having a look around the woods it was time to start making my way back in the direction of the launch site. And although the bow was pointed towards home the day's exploration was not yet over. I had passed a small island on my sail and I figured it would be a good time to get in there and check that out. I knew it was very shallow in the water surrounding the island and I didn't think I would be able to get in there under sail. This boat only needs a few inches of water to float and I can easily pole using the oars if I have to. As I near the island, there is a large flock of pelicans grouped together on the northern point of the island. If I had to estimate, I probably would have said there was 40, maybe 50 in this flock. After the fact, having counted on the footage, there is at least 80 and there might be over 100. It's hard to tell for sure. I happened to run into some birders out here one day and we struck up a conversation and they informed me that the pelican population has really grown dramatically in this area just in the last several years. They said there used to not be very many at all. Now the pelicans seem to be a fixture of Lake Barkley almost. They're everywhere. I see them back in the creeks, out on the islands, open water, just everywhere. Most people probably wouldn't drag a boat through shin deep mud just to explore some rinky dink island, but I just can't stop myself. I guess I have a burning curiosity to get out and explore these kinds of places. Since I received some criticism about classifying a shoal as an island, I have a new standard for whether or not a piece of dry land is an island. And I think the standard is do woody stemmed plants grow here? And they do at this place. It's all shrubs. And I'm familiar with this shrub that mainly is growing here, but can't remember what it's called. It's, it's very common in this area, but it's pretty barren overall. No actual trees that I can see. Every island is a little different. This one is very near the bridge a large suspension bridge on a major highway that runs from LBL over near uh, Katy's, Kentucky.
I tried my best not to disturb the pelicans making a landing here and pelicans are generally pretty laid back so they weren't very bothered they did uh, just get out in the water and kind of float near the point of the island but they didn't fly away or run away or anything so I don't think I've disturbed them too badly If it was easy, everyone would do it. <laughs> I reached the truck just before dusk, but I'm not quite ready to quit yet. I decide to row down to the south a little bit closer to the bridge. <laughs> 